stopping the connection from that backside. Ooh, opening pick as well. Traded here for Marved. Now the 4v4. It's a backstab from Thief. Marv actually puts him down, but Dre is there at the same time. Now, there's a big fight. Baby Bay holds on for a little bit. So one versus one, and I'm not one sure one, if they know. Sure. Rockus is coming one, through one, against one, Dre on the backside. He is there at screens. Five HP escapes. Oh, your boy Dre. There's the paranoia. Five HP, that's all he has. But he has to defuse the spike. And look who it is. Rockus. No like being planted, the wall is up. At a little bit of an angle, and Marv is gonna go in quite deep. Finds Moose, Baby Bay with the Marshall. Boy Dre does trade things out, but that was the player holding off the flank from the attacker spawn. So much congestion down this middle lane right now. Marv has gotten his way all the way down. While Stellar picks up another one with just a pistol, hopefully Marv will be able to actually, oh, he's actually gonna have some trigger discipline, gets the one on the back, and he falls as well. So this round expensive for Phrase. Uh oh, that's trouble. Corey with the paint shell. Baby Bay back. Sight your boy Dre with three. The man's already got two 3Ks in a row. Right, he's in deep. The rest of the team's still going to be rotating off of that mid side and spawn. Your boy Dre with a spray. Moose finds an opening pick. That spike's planted, and now the onus is on LG to push in. Corey with an aggressive angle through the maze here. Paranoia pushes them back. Shots going to continue, but still, it's this it's back and forth. And that's not a resible kill on the site. So they have to play the post plant. I'm not sure if they still have paint shells available for this. There's going to be a wall up. Hopefully a half defuse in here for LG. The fight's going on. A proto with three. <laughs> and Stellar <laughs> wipes it down too. And they get the round. Finally here, a gun round one for LG. Straight off the bat. Right after that eco. And that's going to force the Last player though. Now the plant coming through. A couple of extra credits. It'll be easy for FaZe to pick up. And the positioning is quite aggressive. Baby Bay in this smoke. Running off the screen's rotation. Shot won't connect. The lockdown will push them back. And that's going to give space for LG to now push forward. Yeah, they should be able to get into the site. No problem. Nothing's going to destroy that. No Hunter's Fury or anything. No paint shells. So they get in the site, but now they have to deal with five FaZe members who just have sheriffs and pistols to deal with. And look at the flank from Corey. It could actually get a gun though here. Oh, that's a little bit tight, but they're pushing forward. They don't even find anything here for Corey. The flank was almost masterful. Extra chip damage, find a couple of heads peeking up through the wall. Now LG will have to face the retake here against FaZe. Evolution of this push A strategies over and over in NA. This is playing close up this time. Zachary tries, but Baby Bay falls beforehand. He goes up on top as well and falls too. All left up to Rockus and his operator. And already on top of 410 is Thief. So quick work again, LG. They find basically the keys to those to this round as they come on to A. The first gun round that they did it, then the eco, and then this one too. It's coming in, they're gonna take the site again. Smoke down, here comes the Hunter's Fury though. It's Rockus trying to clear out a proto, and the shots from Zachary off to the side. Eventually a proto will fall. Down to three here for LG. Early tag, another wall goes up. They lost that initial player through the kitchen, and a proto fell as well. Now this is going to be a little bit more difficult for LG. Like ticking. He's going to start to push forward. Slow orb down. Baby Bay. Crispy shot. This Swifty is starting to come to fruition. Flank for Corey. Baby Bay's down. Now the 3v2. Another shot for Thief. One more around the bed. Paint shells as well. Indiana Jones up above. But the treasure is hidden. It is not easy to find. But the defuse, it's not quite there. Thief will fall. Putting it down. Paint shells to recover a little bit of space. But Baby Bay, in this advanced position, he didn't find anything. Yep, now here goes the show stop for right on over. Thief with the dunk, a couple of you trades. Win. Now the 4v4 with the res in for Marv, but that's the bait. The spray's good, the trade. Marv with two. And still, LG have to fight for the spike. With another trade, it's Stellar for Corey, a proto. Last one standing to swing around, and it's Corey to seal the fate. Onto a proto, another round being planted. They just get in and run through. No matter what, early on in the round, and LG in some cases are not ready for it. Oh. Stella, though, ready for Zachary. Baby Bay is down the lane, though. Almost takes the fight as well, but backs off instead. Thief now has to deal with it. Marved in the corner. Is there going to be a paint shells? Yes. And it does find Marv. Rock is still on top, and he finds two more after the first. Make it wow. four. Pull a pump fake. 
Initial B action, but heading over to A, and your boy Dre's in a good position to try to stop this. First, not anything more than that through the gates. Zachary also ults away because he had it all the way back at yellow. He kept all three of them in this for the time. There's going to be a possible res available on the retake if they can force them back like they did it with that lockdown round. And they do have lockdown, but Marv has his res as well. Uh-oh, he's going to take it down, but he can't! Thief! Oh my goodness! The lockdown is still available. The spike planter's down. It does get taken down by the Hunter's Fury, but Marv! He's looking for the plant, but he can't! And there's no time! Ten seconds left for the swing! Thief is just trying to keep the, the dreams alive here. Paint shell off the backboard. Doesn't find the frag. There's an angle being held by Baby Bay, and he'll seal his fate. Does drop down. Spike being planted again. The same positions in Baby Bay. Watching the flank thief. To no good. Does back away. Again, phase in a very good position. And that wall has been deadly. It gives them a lot of space to work up on the rafters there. They can play this how they want. It allows Marv to get this early pick. This is the aggression, the position that they would like on the gun versus gun round, but this is slowly edging over to LG. The resurrection comes through. Baby Bay always oh, off the angle. Now the 1v3. There's the showstopper. This should be his fate. Shots good onto your boy Dre. One more. He tailwinks to safety. Still the 1v2. Spike needs to be diffused and nobody's doing it yet. The Bucky's not going to work out. Down to one. Stellar will find the frag and LG salvage a thrifty. How did that happen? It looked like they got the site pretty easily and all of a sudden they did. Those nano swarms pop loses the duel to Corey. Still a player back sighted to Boy Dre, but the tailwind over wants you, Boy Dre. Not gonna find him. Moose with another, but Marv with the backstab. Now the resurrection of Baby Bay comes through. But they're hoping to break down the wall. Baby Bay backing up. Let's get spotted another spray. Still in a little bit of a tougher spot. Doesn't have a weapon because of that blade storm, so he's just stuck with a classic. Stellar will be peeking his head up, up on the rafters. Marv will save Baby Bay from demise, but Thief is flanking into the opposite side. Unpositioned, unaware, and caught off guard. Shots are good across the board. Marv with the flank will find the 3K still. Now the 1v1. A showstopper available. Here it comes. Here it goes. There it'll fly. And it's the shot from Marv. A clutch for him. A 4K and a round for FaZe. We'll be peeking up, though. About to explode. Shots good onto one. Can Corey find another? On the rope. But now they'll find the trait. Still Rock is on site. The frenzy available. Doesn't have anything else left in the tank. Does get spotted out. He knows where he is playing underneath hell. Can't quite find the frag. Can't find the opportunity there. It'll be sinking into the teeth. This is just down to two final players here for phase. Baby Bay is down. And the heavy shoulders of Zachary will not be enough to lift FaZe out of that deficit. For the retake, well, yeah, they're still here. They're still ready to send those shots in. Baby Bait is down with Moose. 4v4. Retake officially starting to commence underway. Marv finds one onto Thief, but still. LG are playing close. They're playing tight. The wall goes up. Marv trying to boost on over, but Moose through the smoke. As it'll clear, you will find the pick. There's the trade. A couple more come through in phase one, two, and three across the board on all fronts. Take B to put it in front so they can get the defuse on post plants with 20 seconds left right now. Baby Bay has to hold, has to hold strong. He's gonna dive over to 410. Yes, takes down the spike. He goes for more. Oh! He gets deep. Oh my goodness, baby, baby, but still the action continues. They have to get that spike planted. Rockus is here being a nuisance. The tag on the spike carrier, they're coming in. They're not allowing that to be planted. Your boy Dre, he's running out of time and he will run out of And this is so much different from the last time they played each other, of course. LG's gone through a number of evolutions against Sentinels on this map. And you can see how much different it is to this day a Proto. Gonna push into the site. No nano storms just yet, but he does put the alarm bot down on 410. So when that spike does go down, where there is a wall, big bait though, mm. doesn't quite find it. They're gonna push again with Marv though, and there's an ult to the backside there. Corey swinging hard, he gets two. Oh no, Corey three. Your boy Dre falls. They're just picking him apart one by one. Deep doesn't even have enough time to get into the flank. It's a flawless for Phase. How does that fall apart for LG? It looks like they are fighting in A main, so. This is a very important round for LG. A lot of ultimates available. It's their gun round economy. Stumping Baby Bay pushes up underneath, gets himself in a tight position, and 
Shots will come through through the gate, but he's still down low. He's still... Too because FaZe has been basically doing the exact same thing every time. Corey with the Boomba over top of the 410 or pipes, whatever you want to call it. And then they once again have a different look. This time, Baby Bay pushing down all the way at that game. Knives are yet. They expect it to be on that A side, but they're going to push underneath too. But at the same time, as Baby Bay peeks over with Andrew's Fury as well. The synergy. It's so good. It's so good. And this is going to be them trying to close out the round. But Thief claps back. He has a showstopper now available to take space on this A side. And they're all, the, or the B side. And they're all the way down mid. So they can clear this up and maybe get the spike down. So far, that seems to be the plan. The 4v4 still ultimates available for LG. A resurrection if necessary. And a Hunter's Fury as well in the post plant. They don't even bother with the wall. Baby Bay with the spray right onto Moose. And now the spike is in a tough spot. Another comes in for Marv. Another one just to find a proto. And now it's the 3v4 retake for FaZe. But they're all back in spawn. I think Stellar might have missed the molly just a bit. I think he was trying to get logs. But actually kept his team out for a little bit. Either case, they get the site, get the spike down, 3v4 retake. Nobody in B main though, so that's very good for FaZe. They don't have to worry about that too much. They're gonna smoke it off anyway, so they might worry about it, even though it's clear. Of course, they don't have the information. Dart available for Moose too. Gonna be on the backside if they break that. Yes, instantly. There's a scan out, but neither of them get tagged. FaZe. Inching ever so slowly onto the site. Now the action about to commence. Marv with one Corey with another, but Thief, he's the only player standing. Goes Zachary right out in the lane. And it's a one way ticket straight to the pistol victory. Does he have it? The paranoia. Oh, just so close. Just so close. Poitre does fall. Now the sprays come through. Corey's in a lot of trouble. He needs the support from his team. Shot will find him from a proto. Baby Bay back on towards the site. Marv will trade spots and take control of the street room shots. Does tag Stellar. Proto working up through middle. Left. Zachary gonna meet him on the contact point, but still FaZe all grouped up around this garden area. Oh, almost the spray converting onto a second. Thief will heal up. Another pick here for a Proto. The shots from the Marshal will be good. Not enough to take one down, but Baby Bay swaps to the Spectre. The time, like you said, sixth man in the lobby, Ten and it's unfortunately left. not in favor of LG. They will manage to get that spike down, but Moose in an off angle finds Baby Bay. Shock darts to try to stop the plant. It might be successful, but Thief is quite healthy. Oh, one sneeze and you miss. The Proto's gone, now the 1v2. No si do recon bolt to market, allows him to push forward confidently and know that there's a player here on site. He's around the box, and Thief will showstopper up and over oh the bucky does tag a proto but not enough to take him down showstopper will not be enough cage goes down neural theft he's still corralled not letting them in time remember it was an issue before but when you peek like that you find the picks necessary marv now with the paranoia through down to the 1v1 thief versus marv and the empress is available unfortunately it's not going to benefit him quite yet now the plant comes through marv is just going to try to pump fake with the tp but now the plant will try again. He was able to successfully delay. Oh, nope. it's the clutch for Marv. That was too close. Thief. So he retakes control and that gets nullified. Thankfully, Zachary didn't go too far away. Mid control here. Corey's going to challenge. Stellar takes him out, though, and that's a problem now. Mid is open. Smoke's used, though, so they can't actually push all the way up without having to challenge it to spawn. Wow. And they'll get the support here. Unfortunately, the TP does not connect. The lockdown is gone. Marv with the angle. They're in a little bit of trouble. Baby Bay finds the pick, but it's just down to the two members of FaZe. Anchors on B site won't be able to stop them from pushing forward. Baby Bay with another. Has the Blade Storm. He's about to get active. Has everything at his disposal. Updraft, Tailwind, Cloud Bursts. He's got everything. You just can't help it, LG. Yeah. Here he goes. Up and over. Checking for the double stop. All right, push down into mid. Look at Baby Bay's position. He is a sheriff. And challenging. There's a paranoia up top. Cat as well. They're fighting too. No, it's just Moose. He's coming in from the side as well. They push in the A site, and there's an ult from the shadows onto that. Spike will be planted. They're left alone in mid. A proto split for sure, but good audible call for LG to just get away from this. And this is why they're doing that. Why they're spending Aldrone in mid. To clear it out early because phase are 100 percent known 
to play this way. Even in the gun rounds. <laughs> You know, in any other given circumstance, that type of utility One enemy remaining. be a little bit strange. But you're right, against FaZe, it makes a lot of sense. LG, after this round, have found four rounds, I believe, in a racking strategy against FaZe and now head over towards this A side. Marv the anchor. Shots won't be good against Moose. But still, that spike needs to be planted. And Phaser here, shock darts are gonna hurt. Will he be able to get it down? Yes, he will. Rockus with the shock darts does get traded eventually. And now the 3v4 in favor of LG. We see Thief, he's wrapping around. Does he get sack away from range? He will not. And so the LG members here have to wait for Thief to come and rescue them. Are anchored up here by the generator. Shot's gonna be good for one. Here comes Corey dropping down. Blast back's good. Still one in tree, and Thief will join him shortly. Shot on one. Stellar's gone. All up to Thief with the Empress. Shot won't be good from Baby Bay. The defuse is coming in. The sprays are just good enough against Thief. And FaZe Clan secured their lead once more. Face or reset again. Those nano swarms once more they're deadly glory with some utility finds stellar where he positioned that ultimate but the action is going in favor of lg thief and a proto two great opening picks and that's baby bay down that's zachary down and all that remains are three phase members in the retake they've done it before though this is literally the situation in pistol round exactly the same this time though we have players coming in from the backside of B main. Thief is stuck there and he's gonna have to fight actually here. Quickly against Mar. Corey's there with the trade though. Double frag and now nades available to go into the backside too, where two players are waiting. A proto left by himself does not get the spam. There's the paint shells. He's playing close. A proto and Moose. He was playing. And they tried to straight up go through B main. Thrown in early at A. And they know it's pistols now because they heard the sheriff. They're going to challenge down Cat. Thief is very low. Stellar trading too. A proto challenging on this side. It's pandemonium on all sides of the map. Thankfully, a proto has Thief to deal with this one. Get marved all the way up mid. He actually hears this rotation. They know the situation now. They can gamble oh. back. And Corey takes tiles control too. Oh, it's so close. He's probably 1 HP, 2 HP, he's low. They can't even break open onto this B-Site. Finally, the commitment comes through. The smoke for tiles from Marv. Corey rotating around. He'll be joining them shortly. Hunter's Fury to try to clear out the site, clear out space for LG to push in. Rockus is here with a judge. Corey with another. The Sheriff's been so crispy. The Swifty is coming up huge. Moose finds one onto Corey. Finally, the bleeding will stop, but he is bleeding out the side. He's 5 <laughs> HP down. Be combo. 30 seconds left. Not going to find anybody. There's going to be the wall being hacked at by Marv. You got pinged Moose. by that. He was dead. <laughs> oh, no. The drone? Feel it. It's coming. <laughs> it's imminent. Proto. Thief is close though. Nano Storm to clear out close angles. There's gonna be a drone and it's not as fast as you expect. Amali though coming in from Stellar. Thief inside the switch, they get it and they're pushing on the site still. A part on the back site though. I don't know if they expect this given that Baby Bay just ran through. They don't expect to come on now. It's his kingdom, it's his place. He finds the shots, but he can't seal Baby Bay's fate. Finally, he's still sending more through. Rockets onto Moose, it's all down. To the lion in the den, but the cubs get eaten alive by Faze. Oh, no. And then go further. Now it's over towards A. They're running in. Thief gets one down mid, though. Baby B on the switch. He dashes in. Stella now stuck, too. Frenzy. Oh. Four, three for Baby B. And the door's not even closed. Come oh, on, man. Oh, boy. Come on, man. This isn't 2.02 pistol round. This is literally second round. And <laughs> once again, they have a smoke for tree, yes. That's gonna telegraph what's coming now. Smoke respond on the door. Thief is in front of him. He can dismiss out, but he doesn't. No dismiss. 12 seconds left. Baby Bay dashes oh, on to fight. Wow. Who takes him out? Spike still trying to get planted. He wins the fight. It will get planted. But not potentially without losing the life of Zachary. Wow. Yeah. And it's all left to rock is by himself in a one versus three. Starts off good though. Yeah, 1v2 now. Still in the position. Spike's ticking. He's got this if he wants it. 
Doesn't want it bad enough. Moose with the 4K, the defense from... It's the Hunter Fury down the A lane. The tags went up actually top mid, at least the information. No damage done though. It wasn't close enough. If big moment for you right here. Smoke goes down, sees one onto Marv, but Baby Bay does trade him out. Finds an upgrade. Now he's got something other than the knives. The rotations from spawn. He's got a tight angle with the ADS, but Voidre backs off. Look at all this space face have gotten towards this midside. Market control in their hands to Proto. The shot's over. No tailwind available though for Baby Bay, so he can't use it to get to safety. Have to rely on his team who are now working up this A main side. Respect is crazy against Baby Bay there down in spawn. We're gonna push through this smoke, but it's a dash up. Yep, Dre finds him. But the adjustment made it impossible for him to swing back onto Zachary, so the trade is there. Space is given as Moose gets tagged by an hour drone. Oh. Zachary's gonna go for more. And Stellar's on the flank, so there's not anything else coming behind. This is going to be huge for Zach. Flank for flank. Now a proto knows the jig is up. But Zachary's just going you to be a problem. They have to worry about it. A proto decides to push forward instead of looking for him. There is going to be the lockdown, so Stellar <laughs> either has to fight for it or fight against it. There's an attacking lockdown in defense spawn. Come on, man. What is this round? Has to take it out, takes him down. Zachary gone. Now a one versus two. It's still doable, but two ults and face him. Can he dismiss out this time? He's full blind. He's just gonna fall, and Baby Bay's leading the charge through Cat. But Spike Here comes the running him. back. They still have to go pick it up, but here's the running back. Unfortunately, the clone does dissipate and does look like Omen looking for him. Marv now in heaven. A proto probably doesn't anticipate Marv being there, but Stellar will deal with him. Rock is playing close, but he's the only player left. He will get paranoid. And there's three LG members running him down. He finds one. Oh, almost finds the second. But Stellar with the... It is his job. 30 seconds left. To find a pick. Ball does break, and Zachary will take him down. He was quite low, but now the execute on to B comes through. Moose and Stellar are here with the cross. Moose trades out. Stellar's still here. Does get tagged by the recon bolt. Can't win the duel against Corey. Unstoppable. Rockus now in a very close position. LG are going to be going up through here passively. Here's the corner. Clear Thief does find it. Now the 2v2. Lockdown is available, but so is the Neural Theft. Players are found out, but they have to fight for this lockdown. And it's going to be very difficult. Empress has been popped. Can use it to try to get a little bit more active, but there's going to be Corey. They're low. Zachary's low. Alarm bot pops through. A proto just trying to get to safety outside the lockdown. But again, FaZe is delaying LG pushing forward a proto with the angle but they're just playing cat and mouse and the cat is starting to get hungry shots good on to both and the mouse gets trapped lg win another round both players low and that's now two in a row where lg has figured out something here against phase the first one was stellar used for Rockus, and then he comes in quickly no half defuse for lg at all and they have to fight through the door and main at the same time so difficult in the post plant situation FaZe is now on match point. They might fake this. Yep, to go for the switch quickly. Already baiting out some of the utility very early. He's telling him. He's like, yeah, come on, man. I've got plenty to say to you right here. Pop your other cage. Do it. <laughs> wow. It's, uh, it was supposed to be the fake. Uh, guys, it's supposed to be a fake. Uh, Baby Bay finds two. They're going over towards B with the spike. Baby Bay falls. Corey with the trade. And still Moose is here. He hears that spike being planted. The door now starting to come through, but do they anticipate Moose playing through with the sprays? Zachary pops the nano swarm on over, and they will seal LG's fate.